Good morning. <laughs> I hope everyone is doing well. I want to talk to you about fear. Um, I'm reading my devotion in Matthew 8. And Jesus is healing lepers. And uh, a soldier comes and one of his servants is sick. And he wants Jesus to heal them. And Jesus says he'll come. And the man's like, mm -mm, all you got to do is say it and it'll happen. Faith. In another place in chapter 8, Jesus is in the boat with his disciples. And they're crossing the water. And he falls asleep. He's tired. And we know this story. Waves come in. Storm crashing and they're freaking out and when i say freaking out i mean completely freaking freaking out and they wake him up and they're like man wake up like don't you see what's going on we're gonna drown save us and jesus looks at them and his question is why are you so afraid why are we so afraid what is it that we're afraid of do you know who you carry with you? Do you have any idea the power that you have inside of you? Do you know that when you walk into a room, the atmosphere should change? And the reason it should change is because you are a mobile ark of God. And that is what my pastor told me. He told us on Sunday. You are a mobile ark of God. Everywhere you go, God is with you. You cannot walk into a situation that you are unable to deal with because God is with you. You should not have fear of anything because the one who is with you is bigger than anything you are facing. Remember, you are a child of God. Your father lives within you. He made a choice to live within you. So anytime that you come across fear, which is a spirit that he did not give you. Remember, 2 Timothy 1 and 7. God did not give us a spirit of fear or timidity, but power, and that's dunamis power. Dynamite is where that comes from. Dunamis power love and a sound mind, discipline. We are able to do so many things. Stop letting fear get in the way. Stop being afraid of things you don't know. You have the Holy Spirit. All you have to do is ask. If there's something that you don't know that you don't understand, you have a counselor, a guide, a teacher, will tell you what you need to know, what you need to do, how you need to do it, and when it should be done. All you have to do is ask. There is nothing that we can't handle. There's nothing that's too big for us. There's nothing that should scare us because the one that we carry within us, the one who is constantly with us, who protects us, will never forsake us, is there. He is the creator of this world and he is your creator and he lives inside of you and inside of me and because he is able we are able so the next time you come across something that scares you for whatever reason you remember who you are more importantly remember who is with you come on now Three men he brought through the fire. They came out, didn't even smell like smoke. They knew who was with them. Daniel and the lion's den. Come on, they're hungry. They're killing everything. He gets in there, mouths get closed. Nothing happens. No scratch, nothing. He sleeps all night. And he's using them as pillows. Come on. Nothing should fear, it should make you afraid at all. Remember who's with you. Get in the book. Read about it. Hold on to it.
And when you walk into a room, when you walk into a situation, take the time to have this thought. I belong in here because he brought me here. I can do this because he is with me and he brought me to it. And he will not bring you to anything that he will not bring you through. You remember that. Fear has no place in our lives. Don't allow it to take hold. Because if it takes hold, you give the enemy room to come into your life and to start disrupting things. And he has no place here. Remember that. Have a blessed day.